Hey everyone, Ben here with Fly Plugins. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the new custom certificate function with WP Courseware 4.8. All right, let's dive in. Okay, so what you're gonna notice is that we now have a certificates menu item. This means that we have actually created a custom post type for certificates. Uh, and this is a pretty cool feature because now you can create uh, a certificate, a custom certificate that's either reusable or if you just have one course, then you can use it for your for your single uh, course. And so to, to do uh, a custom certificate, all you need to do is click add new at the top and you're going to give it a title. So in uh, in my WP course for installation right now, I, I only have one course. So I'm just going to go ahead and just call it course A. So it's my course A certificate. Uh, next, what you're going to do is click Select Template. Now what this does is it gives you three options. And what we've done is we've created two boilerplate templates. Okay, so we have template one, template two, and then we also have blank temp template. Now you're going to want to play around with these. Um, they basically have the same type of elements within each certificate. Uh, the only difference is the layout. So you'll notice on template one, you kind of have this... Uh, sort of small little thumbnail of what it looks like. And you'll notice that, you know, a lot of things are centered and you have options to add images, which could be logos or signature file. Uh, and then if you look at template two, things are a little bit uh, more left justified um, and it, it spreads out the uh, images a little bit more. And then in your blank template, you can actually add those elements anywhere you'd like. You have, you basically have uh, at the very top, you have two rows, Okay, single column, and then you have the third row, uh, which is three column. Okay, so for demonstration purposes, I'll, I'm going to go through template one uh, to start with, and then we'll quickly go through template two and the blank template also. So I'm going to click template one, and you'll notice here immediately that we have uh, a layout. It's, it's uh, already structured, okay? And the cool thing about uh, the way this works is that everything is customizable, even fonts and font colors. Uh, for example, you could change where it says certificate of completion. You could say certificate, oops, certificate four, and then you have the course title on here. And you could change the color if you like, if you want to, you know, change the color of the uh, font. Uh, you can also change the font size if you want to go smaller, larger. Um, here's a really cool feature. You can actually change the font. Um, so we can change the font here. We can we can choose something uh, a little bit different uh, again. And then if you come back uh, over here, back to the certificate area, uh, you can select the next element and we can change. Let's just make that a little bit bigger font size. And we're going to make the student name something kind of fancy. Um, and, and again, you can you can modify these any which way you'd like. And I'm just going to pick something here. No idea what that looks like. And then we're going to go ahead and jump down here. Now for the image, you, you can do a couple things here. You can add uh, a signature file here. When I say signature file, what I mean is uh, maybe a PNG of your signature. So it looks like your signature, um, an actual signature. Uh, and you can, uh, you can add in any image for that matter. If you want to put your picture, you can add the picture of the actual instructor there. Um, the only thing is you just need to make sure that it's uh, it's a good, you know, decent sized image, 300 uh, pixels by 300 pixels or less uh, will work in that area. And you also have an image here in the middle. Now, typically uh, what I've seen a lot of course instructors do here is if they have uh, either uh, a course, say they have a course image or course art, maybe, you know, kind of like a It'd be kind of the equivalent of a cover image of a of a music CD or or something of that sort. You can place that here. A lot of a lot of course instructors also will put uh, the business logo here as well. Okay, but again, you can come in here and you can add any any image that you would like. Uh, the text down here on the lower left hand corner is also customizable. You can actually change uh, where it says text entry, so custom text. Uh, again, you can justify, left justify, 
uh, or right justify or center the text as well. Uh, modify the color. And if we go over here to the right hand side, again, you have uh, an option here for a custom text. You don't have to put anything there if you don't like it. You can remove it and it won't display. The next uh, item here is the uh, cumulative grade. It's a percentage. Now, for example, let's just say you have a course that does not have a quiz. You can go ahead and hide that so it doesn't show it at all. Or you can show it and you can, again, you can change font size, fa font family, and text color as well. A lot of courses, or course instructors for that matter, um, they, li they like to add in certificate numbers. Um, and so what you can do is you can add a certificate prefix here. So you can say like, you know, if you have like for this one, it's for course A, right? So you could have all of these certificate numbers start with CA dash. And then let's just say you have, uh, you know, you, you want to add some kind of randomized number here. You can. This is just the, the length of the number. So it'd be four. Uh, four digits. So it'd be CA dash and then four, four random digits, which gets generated at the time that the certificate uh, is actually generated, which is actually when the student clicks on it. Um, and then you have the option here for date. And what's cool about this is you can also uh, change the, uh, the date format. So you can move that around if you, if you don't like the default. And that's, that's pretty much it as far as uh, template one goes. Um, you can also, uh, I, I failed to mention, you can also add a background, a custom background. Um, and to do so, you just simply click uh, anywhere. Don't, don't click on one of the elements, but just outside the element. You'll notice that the entire certificate gets highlighted. And then all you have to do is click upload image and you can add in a custom background. Okay, so there's our certificate. We're gonna go ahead and let's uh, let's go ahead and publish that. Or let's publish it first. We'll publish it, and then we can preview it. And there's our certificate. Um, again, I didn't add in the the signature or the uh, the logo area, uh, but uh, this will give you a pretty good idea of what your student is going to see. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go back here and I'm going to go ahead and open up um, the next template. And we'll just call this course. We'll call it course A dash two, since this is the second certificate I'm building for course A. Again, that uh, the title is kind of irrelevant. It's just helpful to know um, what, what you named it when you go to set the, uh, certificate for a particular course. Um, and you'll see where that comes into, into play here in just a moment. Uh, quickly, I just want to show you here at template two, you'll notice a lot of these, um, items are left justified again, and you can change that. So you can change that back to center. Um, it's just kind of a, a pre-formatted template, very similar to template one. Uh, you also have the uh, the image options here. You have the instructor name with uh, custom text entry at the bottom. Again, if you don't want to display that, you can always delete the text. Uh, custom text entry here at the top. You have the uh, cumulative grade certificate number, which we talked about with the prefix and length. And then you have the date. So I'm going to go ahead and just publish this as is. And now we have two certificates and we're going to go back and create one more. And this time I'm going to go ahead and call this one course a custom. And we're going to just pick the blank template. And you'll notice here I've got options. Um, it, it kind of sets out the columns and, and uh, it's got three rows, uh, single column for the first two rows and three column for the third row. And if you click the little plus to add a block, you get options. You can add in student name, student title, or a text field. Uh, so for this one, we'll just do course title here. And we'll go ahead and add another one here. We'll call this one student name. And we'll go open one here. And we're going to call this one signature. And we're going to open another one. And we will call this one, uh, let's just do an image here. 
And over here we want to do, um, let's do certificate detail. Okay, so again, you can change uh, things like, um, like text, uh, color, you can change font size, font family, you can right, left, or center justify the text. Again, you can select an image for upload, so we can add in, uh, we can add in a signature there. We can add in a logo if we'd like. Okay, uh, on this one, I'll just go ahead and we'll hide the grade. I'm going to remove the bottom text entry. We'll go ahead and remove the top text entry also. And I'm actually going to go ahead and change the size for the course title and the student name. We'll pick a different font. I'm just going to randomly pick something here. Wow, that's pretty fancy looking. And I'm going to go ahead and pick a background also. We'll just pick a background that we already have. We'll just say pick or select. Okay, we'll go ahead and publish. And let's go ahead and just preview to make sure it kept my changes. Okay, and again, you're gonna to want to play with the different sizes. Obviously, this looks uh, a little off only because the course title and my name are so small, but you can center that. You can play with all the different uh, settings for font color, font size, and uh, you can justify the, the text any way you, you'd like on the certificate. Okay, so now we've got three certificates that we've created. Um, and so probably the biggest question on your mind is, how do I assign this to a course? Well, if we go over to our courses, you'll notice I have one course created here, and we're going to go ahead and click on that. And then we're going to go to our certificates tab over here. Now, you'll notice that uh, immediately this looks just like what you already have as far as certificates are concerned. However, if you notice, the select certificate option here is a drop down. And now you have the three options that we just created. Now those those titles that you added to the to the certificates are listed out right here. So you might want to be descriptive with those course titles so that you know exactly which one you want to apply. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply uh, course A there and we'll just go ahead and update that to set it. And we'll just click preview just to make sure that's the one we picked. And that's the one we picked. Um, if you remember, I did not add, I didn't add any image here. Um, obviously, you'd want to do that. And that's pretty much all there is to adding a custom certificate to your online courses with WP Courseware. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.